Hello guys and welcome to my first uh, Defenders of Texel video. This is the Defenders of Texel online alpha build. Uh, Defenders of Texel was a game um, that you can play on the open play store or the apple store. Uh, some people are not, uh, remember it fondly. I surely do. Um, but with the alpha build, uh, you know, it, it's free to play. And, uh, you know, it's not the same as the original where it has um, animations and stuff. Uh, but it's still nice to um, have the game available uh, to play. Uh, a lot of the stuff in the game is still intact. Um, true to the original, uh, you know, having trades, leveling up, so fusions and evolutions. <clears throat> And uh, I wanted to just um, give an introduction of what I want to do in the channel. Um, you, just a multitude of, of things. Just um, how to play, essentially. How to play smarter. How to trade smarter. Um, maybe try and fix the, uh, the the issue with the market. Because a lot of stuff is inflated in price. And you always have to struggle in, you know, in a way going on to the community on Discord. Um, you know, everyone, even though everyone's nice, you know, like everyone's always trying to inflate the prices, um, on the game and it's only for in-game currency, no, no monetary value, just Nux, bitters and, and glue. <clears throat> um, I want to start off the video by farming, uh, some of the levels. I already finished all of them. Um, just farming X24. So, um, I wanted to check out, um, how much energy it would take me to finish the whole thing. I know, um, with farming, uh, it gives you Texi. <clears throat> and, um, you know, Texi is very valuable in the game. Occasionally, I will try and pause the video to look at my notes and gather my thoughts together. That way, uh, the video is continuously um, flowing with information rather than just watching gameplay. Um, even though that would be nice, I feel like my videos will get oversaturated with just uh, a lot of nothingness. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to start off with how you play the game you get characters by playing the game you get uh crystals or rocks that are called uh pick site dog site um go right here and build vox site event x i or premium build um you know and then once you get characters you can fuse them to level them up um i have an example right here with this rare, uh, she starts off as a rare, and then she'll evolve eventually to uh, an epic. Once you have um, six rares in total, and then after this epic, um, you can fuse them a couple times to get a legendary. So once you get six epics or 36 rares, you can um, evolve it to find, I mean, to make uh, a legendary. And this is what the legendary is. Um, go find it real quick. So this is what the legendary looks like. Um, and then even after you get a legend, you can still max her out. Excuse me, at uh, getting three legends in total, and having her level uh, fully maxed out. Um, I'll talk about the price later. Um, um, the game has D and D elements, uh, I believe, um, like in specifically like in their class wises, um, you know, these little green chicks that I've been using, they are rogues. Rogues are commonly, uh, a lot faster. Um, there's also champions. They're usually tankier with higher XP and, uh, attack. Uh, oh, and then with the rogues, you have usually have higher uh, speed, and um, 
you have speed and your abilities like preempt uh, they allow you to, to attack first so that's actually really strong in the game being able to attack first uh, there's also a guru class um, that's this line right here of uh, pink guys that I have uh, there's dozens and dozens of different champions in the game uh, but gurus uh, they do damage based on their wisdom <clears throat> And it all works kind of similar to uh, paper, rock, scissors. Um, you know, rogues beat up on gurus because rogues are a lot faster. And since they attack first, they, they, they kind of bully and beat up on gurus. Because um, gurus are also glass cannony. Uh, gurus, they beat up on champions because champions tend to have lower wisdom. And since they're doing wisdom attack damage, um, they'll look into, that's how you beat them. And then champions pick on rogues because champions have higher HP and they can take a hit or tank a hit from a rogue. Uh, sometimes, not all the time, but, you know, usually they do. Um, and then on the crackback then champions can beat up on the rogues <clears throat> and it's a little bit of back and forth uh but that that's uh how you put them in simple terms